Hi, this is David. You want to purify your water, maybe for drinking water, and maybe you need this water for your process in your production. First of all, you should decide the water source. It is tap water or other water source. What is other sources? For example, deep well water, river water, lake water, sea water, or something else. For tap water application, most of countries' water analysis report near the same. And Chanka CKRO type reverse osmosis system is suitable for all countries' tap water. But if your water source is not tap water, what do you have to do? Now we check it with you. Chanka is manufacturer of commercial and industrial water treatment systems. Our smallest size, 100 liter per hour, the biggest size is 7,500 cubic meter per day. First, you have to get one bottle of water from your water source and send to the laboratory in your country for test. After you get water test report, you will see a result similar to this. First, we try to find TDS, total dissolved solid, in test report. In the test report, TDS is 3580 ppm. What is the TDS? and why it is important for us. TDS means total dissolved solids and refers to the total concentration of dissolved substances in water. TDS comprises inorganic salts and a small amount of organic matter. Inorganic salts are made of the positively charged cations such as calcium, magnesium, potassium, sodium, and negatively charged anions such as carbonates, nitrates, bicarbonates, chlorides, and sulfates. Why TDS is important? Why categorize water according to its TDS level? Now I show you two tables, and from these tables, you will see this categorization. For drinking purpose, from this table, you see that if you want to drink water, TDS level must be less than 250 ppm. If you are producing bottled water, we suggest you to produce water less than 150 ppm. Also, if this water is not for drinking purpose, if you want to use this water in your process, you have to define needed treated water TDS level in your process. Every industry has different demand, such as pharmaceutical industry, need water less than 1 ppm. Irrigation need less than 500 ppm. Power plant need less than 2 ppm. If you are not sure which TDS level is suitable to your process, don't worry, our technical team help you for it. The second table categorizes water as regards to their source. From sample test report, our TDS level is 3580 ppm. It means that it is breakage water. If TDS is higher than 2000 ppm, your system needs bigger pressure, bigger pump, special membrane, and also some other technical improvement. Therefore, TDS is a very important parameter for you and for us to buy and to design a correct system. If TDS level is less than 1000, 2000 ppm level, pretreatment, ultrafiltration, and standard reverse osmosis system is suitable. If TDS level is higher than 1000 ppm level, breakage water desalination, BWRO, reverse osmosis system are suitable. If TDS level higher than 20,000 ppm level, seawater desalination system, SWRO, reverse osmosis system are suitable. If TDS level is higher than 60,000 ppm, you need a special evaporator and condensation process. Here, there is a trick. If you find lower TDS water source, you can reduce your investment cost. Breakage water or seawater treatment system, always more and more expensive than standard water treatment systems. Such as you find very clean water, TDS level is around 60 ppm, you don't need to make huge investment for reverse osmosis. Pre-treatment, post-treatment, or ultrafiltration can be solution for you. Or if you find a water similar with this test report, you have to use breakage water desalination system, known as BWRO, and 
don't waste your time and money to invest common standard reverse osmosis system. If you use standard RO plan for high TDS, membranes will be clogged and also maybe all system will be corrupted. You imagine how big lost. The second important parameter is hardness. What is hardness? The simple definition of water hardness is the amount of dissolved calcium and magnesium in the water. We find the hardness from sample test report. You see hardness is 2,511 ppm. So what should be hardness level for a good water? Now we check the table. If your water hardness is more than 60 ppm, we suggest you to use water softener system. Why we are using water softener system in water treatment application? Hardness is a big problem for membrane filtration. It causes scaling problem on membrane and reduces efficiency of all system. Water softener is best way to rid of hardness. It has ion exchange resin in softener tank. And separately, there is brain tank for regeneration of ion exchange resin. You can add sodium salt in brain tank with water. Ion exchange resin consists of sodium. And water softener exchange sodium ion with calcium and magnesium. As a result, your water becomes soft. These two parameters are most important parameters to understand what kind of system you need to use. Other parameters are also important. Chanka, carefully check your water test report and give you best solution fixed to you. Today, give a call or send email and solve your water problem. Thank you.